Welcome to the Subscribe Newscast. My name is Annika Schmidt, and I will be giving you the latest in UCCS news from the Scribe's current and upcoming stories. To start the week of April 12th, Cambria Shrank previewed the UCCS Office of Sustainability's Clean the Stream event, which will be held on Friday, April 23rd in support of Earth Day. The focus of the event is to clean up the Templeton Gap floodway. Shrank spoke with Interim Director of Sustainability, Kimberly Reeves, and Sustainability Coordinator, Annabelle Nipp, about how UCCS adopted this section of the creek and how volunteers' cleanup work impacts the rest of the watershed. Next, Devin Martinez spoke with UCCS philosophy professor Raphael Sassauer about Sassauer's 2020 book titled The Specter of Hypocrisy, Testing the Limits of Moral Discourse. In Martinez's words, Sassauer explored the history of hypocrisy, different kinds of hypocrisy, and whether people can escape hypocrisy, or if it is something constant in all human relations. Martinez discussed the subject of hypocrisy with Sassauer in a political sense, as well as the relationship between modern political attitudes and truth. William Pham covered the opening of Clyde's Way, a new road on campus meant to reduce traffic on Austin Bluffs Parkway and North Nevada Avenue. The road connects the main campus to Nevada near to the end center. The construction of this road was funded by the city of Colorado Springs and UCCS, while the road was named by UCCS students. Among those who attended the ribbon-cutting ceremony were Chancellor Venkat Ruddy and Colorado Springs Mayor John Southers. Next, I reported on the finalization of Mosaic's office expansion, what Mosaic plans to do with the new space, and resources and staff available to students. I spoke with Mosaic and Gateway Program Director Anthony Cordova, who will retire in June. Cordova spoke about his hopes for students to use the new office as a meeting space and voiced his belief that new coordinators joining Mosaic will provide students with valuable resources next semester. Allison Spear wrote about the changing COVID-19 restrictions across Colorado. She corresponded with Stephanie Hanneberg, UCCS's Assistant Vice Chancellor for Health and Wellness, who said that the UCCS cabinet is still discussing whether masks will be required on campus after the El Paso County mask mandate is lifted. Hanneberg recommended that the UCCS community remain healthy by continuing to follow public health guidance and receive the COVID-19 vaccine if eligible. As of April 16th, UCCS will, quote, continue to follow our protective measures through the end of the spring semester, end quote according to a COVID-19 email update. Finally, Kate Dykeman reported on UCCS's 150 Tree Challenge in support of Colorado Springs' upcoming 150th anniversary. She spoke with Kimberly Reeves, Interim Director of Sustainability, who discussed funding for the tree planting initiative, as well as where and when planting will take place. Student volunteers will participate in planting trees on April 24th and May 1st. 86 trees have already been planted, while the remaining 64 will be planted on these volunteer days. Dykeman also covered other UCCS events relating to the city's anniversary, including three virtual presentations. Those were last week's news stories. This week, you can be on the watch for the following articles. Kaylin Hardin reports on the April 15th virtual seminar titled Mindfulness, a practical approach for savoring moments in each day. The session is the first of a four-part series that will address building resiliency for healthier aging targeted towards older adults. Next, Allison Spear previews an event that aims to create dialogue around issues faced by women leaders in the academy, including structural racism and sexism, social justice practices, building intersectional networks, and mentoring opportunities. The event is titled CU, Supporting Women Leaders, an Anti-Racist Intersectional Dialogue, and will take place on Tuesday, May 4, from 3 to 5 p.m. Brianna B.C. covers the return of Theater Works and Iliad to the End Center for the Arts. B.C. will cover ticketing, attendee restrictions, and when and where the performances will be held. Isaac Werner will report on open enrollment for the fall 2021 semester with specifics on in-person courses and the most popular majors. 
Julia Jackson will give an update on UCCS's American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics organization and their upcoming events. A video produced by the club will also be included in a NASA mission to the moon. Finally, Fiona O'Dowd-White will be providing an update on the dining hall switching back to regular plates in place of disposable plastic. The disposable plates and cutlery originally provided a COVID-19 safe option for students dining on campus. Now you're up to speed on the latest in UCCS news. That's all for this newscast. To read these stories in full, check them out on the Scribe website at scribe.uccs.edu. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at UCCS Scribe to stay up to date on all the news on and outside of our campus. Thanks for listening.